top of the morning top of the morning back at it again with another one and today we're looking at the nasdaq if you don't know now you know be sure to follow us on twitter the handle is S C H M D I S C H M D I, and let's get to it if you didn't watch the previous video it would be a good idea to watch it as that has more context as to what we're currently looking at now the previous video we looked at the am silver bullet for monday we'll be looking at the pm silver bullet for monday or the last hour closing macro as i like to refer to it that's three o'clock to four o'clock right so if you've watched the previous video you'll know our daily open and our 8 30 open we ran liquidity or buy side broke down with a strong bearish closure broke short-term lows traded back up into the fair value gap we opened into ote zone and then melted to the downside we then used our special fib to project our tp very accurate and uh, we also showed the settings in the previous video for the settings for the fib so if you want to catch all of that be sure to watch the 03 june new york am silver bullet video that's on my channel so now that we're done with the am session we're now looking or looking to get involved in the pm session or the afternoon one so i'm just gonna out v that i think that's the three o'clock candle alt v we see our three o'clock and then we take a look to see that we are below our 8.30 open price. We are below our daily open price. So we are in a deep discount. Deep, deep, deep discount. We can also then take it a step further by putting on a fib on the current dealing range we are looking at. To notice that we are below equilibrium. So we're still in discount, right? Still in the discount so we'll just see it's three price shot up came back down hit that order block there and then began to go up it was pre a pretty late move pretty late in the afternoon i'm just gonna start by delineating that order block over there like so order block got that and i'm also gonna mark out that inverse fair value gap inverse fair value gap so i do it like this So you can see we've had a few confluences. We're printing higher lows, higher low, higher low, higher low, higher low, showing that price has a willingness to progress to the upside. We have an inversion fair value gap, which was supposed to be bear, a bearish fair value gap, but we closed well above the midpoint range of that fair value gap, giving us the indication that it is inverting. And then instead of looking for sales, this PDRA can be used to look for buys, and that's precisely what we did. The higher highs, I mean the higher lows, inverse fair value gap, or the block that we then traded down into, allowing us to push up. I'm just going to put a quick fib on that, on the bodies, just to perhaps see if we're not an OTE or something. And would you look at that? Price comes down into the OTE zone at about 3.40 p.m., before progressing to move to the upside best case entry we'd be looking at a movement of 108 points very powerful very very powerful i'm just gonna go to the one minute perhaps get a clearer or a more zoomed in view just to take a see look at what was going on as you can see the order block there on the five minute we slammed into it tamed it to that inversion for value gap also the order block continue to push to the upside the rest is history A beautiful day i'm going to use this manipulation here just to to see if perhaps we can't get a projection as to targets so take profit target levels would you look at that we hit that negative two slash negative zone level negative 2 to negative 2.5 that's where we take our first tick p or partial and then if price really is indeed indeed bearish it will continue towards 
that negative four zone over there. So I'd like to see price consolidate, shoot to the downside, and then push up. But we'll see if that's what happens. Otherwise, thank God for the skill. Beautiful PM session, um, silver bullet. And we'll see what else the, the week has for us. In the name of my mentor, stay safe. Please be sure to leave us a like, subscribe, follow. And yeah.